All right, guys, so uh, shop project today. I've got these cabinets hanging in my shop. Uh, they were here when I moved in, but under the cabinet was very dark. So I got a set of these uh, LED light strips a couple years ago. It's like a six pack from Amazon. I'll put a link to these down in the description. I've used them in various spots around my garage. So there I've got some above the garage door. I've got one over here above my lathe. And then I've got a couple more, but I had one that was mounted under this this upper part of the cabinet, but as you can see, it doesn't fit all the way under the cabinet. Um, I also wanted some lighting under these lower cabinets, but I mainly wanted the light here to fit up inside so that you couldn't actually see the diffuser. Uh, same with here. Uh, so what I ended up doing was I took one of these apart. So these can be linked together uh, with this little three pin um, connector, and it's got that on each side. And under the sticker side, right inside of here, in this lower part of the tube, there's a little LED driver that will convert your uh, AC current into DC. And then it's just got a positive and negative wire that goes up to the LED strip that's inside of the diffuser. So under the little sticker here, if you peel this back, there's a little release tab. And the aluminum extrusion on these is very, very thin and very easy to deform. Um, but if you press that little tab in and pull the end cap off, uh, just slide it out of this aluminum tube, you've got this white tube. Uh, it's got two red wires going into it. That's going to be your AC current coming from your wall. It goes into this white tube, and if you look in there, um, there's a circuit board that basically converts that, and I would assume drops down. I didn't actually measure voltage, but um, I would assume it cuts the voltage down and converts it to DC current. And then it just gets soldered to the strip board. You can see there's a positive and a negative. This rail on the left, it's just a thin strip that goes all the way down to the very end, is just a negative rail. Um, the rail on the right is a positive rail, and it goes down to the fifth LED down there. And then on the fifth LED, it goes from a parallel connection to a series connection to the first of the next five set of LEDs. There's a middle strip that acts as a negative rail for just this set of five LEDs. And so it's a, it's a weird five LEDs in parallel and then however many LEDs in series. So basically what I did is I figured out how long I needed my light to be. Uh, so that it would fit up underneath here in between the blocking. And then I found a good spot on the actual LED strip, the internal LED strip, where I could cut between one of the sets of parallel and series. And in those places, I've just got my negative bar on the left and then a positive uh, bar. And so I just soldered on some wires that's just going to take the DC voltage that's coming out of there and send it on down the line to my other strip that's mounted over there. Now, obviously I didn't have any extra end caps, so I modeled up some in Fusion 360 and put a little access hole there for the wires to go out of and got everything assembled and soldered it together. Now, coming out of the little driver here, coming out of the other side, originally there's two wires that will go all the way down to an end cap that looks like that, that has the three terminal plugs. And that is used to daisy chain these together. Um, I don't intend to do that. And so at the other end of this little driver, I just cut those wires short, uh, make sure to tape them off so they wouldn't contact the uh, aluminum housing here. And I just can't extend this one out to further lights. Um, but just to make sure that no one attempts to extend it out. There's the one end cap that I printed, and then I printed an identical one for this side that just does not have the connector in it. So you couldn't extend it out if you tried because there's nowhere to plug the extension cord into. But that's how I split one of these LED strips to provide light in two different locations. Uh, just needed a little bit of extension wire, uh, some 3D printing caps. Uh, one thing to note is as I was shooting this video and as I was trying to get things back together, the little terminals inside of the end cap 
one of those broke. So I'm gonna have to try to solder on the wire to the little terminal, or I may just use this end cap that was left over and make some wire splices. Um, these connectors are really fragile and moving them around a lot uh, can stress them so they break. So just something to keep in mind, but I will post a link to my 3D printed end caps down in the description. You can go download those files, print them out in whatever color you want. And then I'll put a link to, you know, typical soldering supplies down in the description. If you click those links, uh, if you order from those links, it definitely helps me out. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. Uh, this is one of those things that if you're not comfortable doing this, you should probably just skip it, go some other route. Uh, but I already had these on hand. I like the light output. I understand the risks, but that's going to be it for this one. Uh, until next time, we'll see you later.